so on but dude honestly you can't tell me that both of these videos don't have the same person in them this is ridiculous why do all these girls want to look like charlie Got me in this party all up in a zone Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone Like come and party I've been trying to shake you off my mind But just can't get you off me Keep it moving They ain't worth it Yeah, that's what my father What's the word? It's your boy, Just a Crello. So if you've been on TikTok and since you're watching this I can only assume that you have been Then you know about the Charlie clones There are a couple of girls who look exactly like the famous TikToker Charlie D'Amelio these clones have been going super viral lately just for looking like someone who's famous. The thing about these clones though is that they're purposely changing little things about themselves to make themselves look more like Charlie. The first clone we're going to look at today is Ellie Zyler. Ellie has 2 million followers on TikTok and this was the video that blew her up. I'm fresh. I'm hood. I look, look good. I now this video got over 18 million views and even Charlie commented saying, so you're telling me this isn't me? So at first it kind of started as a doppelganger, everyone's mind is kind of blown thing. But after this video went viral, Ellie would go out of her way to look like Charlie in a large number of videos, which would get a ton of views. Children, fingers in your ears and make the la la sound. <laughs> This has led to her getting a ton of backlash as well. This person commented, Guys, she's obviously purposely trying to look like Charlie. It gets her likes and follows. She doesn't care what we think. Another person said, She's really going to get the same shirt and do her hair exactly like Charlie. And y'all are going to defend her? So she's been getting a ton of hype and hate due to being accused of trying to be like Charlie for views. And if you don't believe me, you can watch this video. And none of the hate comments really seem to be getting to her. I mean, she's literally pulling a million views every video. She also recently commented, Sway House does it the best. <laughs> How are you just going to disrespect your inspiration's house like that? You're just gonna disrespect your idol like that? No, but all jokes aside, in my eyes, it's kind of a scummy thing to do. There are people who actually put in work on TikTok, come up with original ideas, and grind their heart out. And it's sad that somebody can just look like you and completely get clout off of everything you did, off of everything you've accomplished and worked hard for. And believe it or not, I don't care about the type of clothes she wears. Literally every teenage TikTok girl owns that. It's more about the hairstyle and the mannerisms that she displays, which is almost exactly like Charlie's that she wasn't doing before. And this has led me to believe that if Charlie never existed, Ellie wouldn't be nearly as big as she is now. And there's not really anything you can say to change my mind. I mean, this girl is literally famous for looking like Charlie. The next clone we're going to take a look at is Shira Kai Cohen. She only has 264,000 followers, but she is currently trending right now because of a video that she made, which is very similar to Charlie's videos. Now, if you scroll on her page, you can see that in her older videos, she doesn't look anything like Charlie. And since she looks like Charlie now, it's obvious that she only did it for clout. People have been commenting on some of her videos as well with one person saying she even jumped at the beginning just like Charlie. Sorry to bring it to you, but trying to copy someone with everything they do is weird. And I agree, it's one thing to look like somebody just from birth, but it's another thing to make yourself look like someone just for views and followers. I do hope that this is just a phase and they move on. Because if this becomes a thing, we could have a serious problem on our hands. We already have a big problem with ideas being stolen as it is, but if people's identities are being stolen, then this could be a big problem for social media in the future where you can literally just get famous off of looking like somebody. People could have put their heart and soul into the content that they make, and just because you look like them, you get that same amount of clout. I think it really boils down to, do these Charlie clones deserve the hype that they're getting? Do they deserve the views? Do they deserve the followers? And, and if I'm giving my honest opinion, I honestly don't think they do. It would be one thing if Ellie and Shira actually like 
made original content, but they still kind of looked like Charlie, that would be different. But the fact that they do the dancing videos while having the same little two strands of hair hanging off their head with the glasses on, it's just like, it's so similar to Charlie's and it's kind of obvious that they're trying to be Charlie. But that's all I have to say. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, then subscribe and show the like button some love. See y'all tomorrow. Peace.